hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you are not new here welcome back my sunflowers your girl is finally back for another video and this is probably the most important video y'all i made it to my one year vlog yay I'm so super excited to finally come to you guys with my one year lock update. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to put this video together. I think I'm just gonna do it the same um, way that I normally do my updates because I have so many pictures and videos. I'll probably insert a slideshow at the end of this video is what I'm thinking I'll do. Um, just so you guys can see the transition of my journey. But if you've been following me from day one, you guys have seen the transition for this whole year. And I just want to thank you guys so much for riding with me for this whole year and my inconsistencies, but also me packing so much information into these videos on my experience and my journey. Um, and also replying back to you guys' comments. You guys always have questions for me in the comment section or you're just um, you're just starting your journey and you are asking questions or you need some encouragement on your journey uh, and wanted to know what to expect. That's what I'm here for because I made it to a year so I can kind of give you guys a little bit of tips that can kind of help you along your journey. So if you're one of those people that always have questions and you're concerned about your hair, drop them down in the comment section. I'll try to... Um, give you my best advice. Of course, I'm not an expert at locks. However, like I said, I've been doing this for a year, so I know a little bit of something. All right, so you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the part that I believe you guys love the most, which is the lock close-up. Like, I think that's what y'all come here for, is for the lock close-up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that part, and then we'll go ahead and get into my updates. Okay, you guys, so that's my close-up, and I'm pretty sure y'all see a little bit of changes with the texture of my hair, and most importantly, the length of my hair. Like, y'all, my hair is growing like wildfire now since I've hit my one month, I mean, oh my God, <laughs> since I hit my one year mark. Um, as you guys notice, I have colored my hair black. I'm not gonna say I'm permanently black. I did not use a permanent um, hair color. I didn't use a temporary hair color this time. I used a demi-permanent because I was noticing that the um, semi-permanent was washing out even before I got to the first wash. That wasn't long enough for me and it was a waste of money. So um, I went to the professional salon store, which is salon centric. And I went and got a 1B, which is the color Onyx there in the Shazy Q gloss. And I used that to 
pretty much color my hair and I did that probably about um, two months ago and my color is still staying strong. I love the look of the dark hair on me because it um, it makes my hair look healthier and you can kind of see the texture of my locks a lot better with it being um, darker. It just looks healthier altogether to me and I think it complements my uh, complexion a lot. So like I said, the major changes that I'm noticing with my hair since I've hit my one year lock um, mark is that I'm noticing my texture, the texture of my hair is still curly on the ends. And I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere on this screen so you guys can see the texture of the front of my hair when I first started my journey. It was curly, but it was really a looser curly pattern because I had previous, um, I would say, I guess, um, the front of my hair is a lot finer, so previous, a little bit of heat damage, so my texture was a little bit looser in the front. And as you guys can see, that this is the result of a looser pattern, pattern on my hair because it kind of transformed into this little bulb at the end, which I think it looks so unique. I absolutely love it. And this is actually one of my favorite locks <laughs> along with this one over here. Where is it? This one is my favorite lock. This is actually two locks that I combined. And this is more one of my thicker locks, as you can tell. But she's so bumpy and cute. I love it so much. I love all of my locks. Also, I'm gonna show you guys how much the front of my hair has grown because before these babies used to stop up here somewhere and now they're on my nose. They are on my nose now. Look at there. Wow. But, oh, another thing like I was saying. I'm noticing the curls on the end of my hair, they're starting to get a lot fuller and a lot fluffier. They're not as fine and defined as they were. So they're starting to get a lot more fluffier, which I absolutely love that look, as you guys can see. Look at this right here. Oh, this is a thick, thick mamas. Okay, thick arms. <laughs> see, like this one, the curl is pretty much almost gone. And y'all, I'm still loving the curly look of my hair. I, like I said, I don't really do anything special to maintain the curls anymore. I'm just letting it do what it does. And um, I would like to keep some of my curls because I think it just gives my hair a nice, unique texture and look to it. Um, yeah, but I've been getting so many compliments on my hair lately. And I'm just like, oh my God, people can not really tell that I have locks. Another thing that I have slow down doing which I've mentioned in previous updates anyway but I tremendously slowed down the amount of time um, the amount of times that I retwist my hair I retwist my hair every two months now and it's like clockwork sometimes I go over that two month mark because I do not want to cause too much tension on my roots and I don't want my locks to get too thin um, especially too early in this stage. So I stretch out my retwist. And an, the main reason why I do that is because I do not like my hair to look flat. This is probably going on a two week retwist. I did retwist my hair for a family trip that I took last week. So um, that was the first time I retwisted my hair in like two weeks because it did need it. Because the longer you go without retwisting, your roots will start to intertwine together, which they call a marrying, which I don't want my locks to marry. Um, if you do find that happening and you wash your hair, make sure you just try to gently separate your hair so that it doesn't get too bad when it's time to come to retwisting your hair. Um, when I do retwist my hair, I do not use a comb in my hair. I just grab a section, lightly separate it with my finger, and I retwist it that way. When it comes to retwisting my hair, I do not palm roll my hair. Um, I have palm, right, palm roll my hair, I think once or twice since being locked and I do not like the results of my hair being palm roll. I'm gonna tell you why. I find that I did get a really solid um, retwist with that. It did last a lot longer. However, I realized my hair was really stiff when I palm rolled it and it made my locks, like some of my locks are still thin from that retwist, a little bit more straight. It gives it more of a straighter cylinder look, which I'm not really going for. So when I retwist my hair, which I'm gonna give y'all updated retwist video, 
I literally just do that and then clip it. I take a piece, do it like that until it gets to the root and retwist it. That's literally all I do and clip it. Um, when it comes to shampooing my hair, I may shampoo my hair whenever I feel like I need it. So sometimes it could be every two weeks. Sometimes I could stretch a little bit longer. I do notice when my hair starts to get super itchy and dry, I feel like I need to go in and deep cleanse my hair. And the products that I'm using right now to shampoo my hair is professional products. Um, I use Divine Essentials, Oat, Honey and Oat Henna Deep Cleansing Wash. I think that's what it's called. I would go grab it for you guys. Hold on, let me go get it. Uh, so this is the shampoo that I use. Oat Protein and Henna Deep Cleansing Shampoos. This is the shampoo that I use on my hair. And I use this about, um, I wash my hair about two times with this one. Then I go in with my absolute favorite um, product brand, professional product brand, which is Kenra. And this is the moisturizing shampoo. So I go in with that. I do not use any conditioner on my hair. And to retwist my hair, I am still using this 100% aloe vera gel. I find that this product is literally, it doesn't really do anything, but I like the way it makes my hair feel while I'm retwisting it. It makes my hair feel super moisturized. So I've been using this for months, you guys. There, I don't think this is like a real gel. There's no product buildup or anything like that. So it literally washes <laughs> right out. Other than that, those are really the main updates. My hair is growing so much. As you can see, when I first started, my hair was like right here, um, which you guys will see in some clips at the end of this video, how short my hair was. But overall, I am absolutely loving my hair. I'm so proud of myself for making it to a year without covering my locks with a wig or with any type of head wraps i've consistently worn my own natural hair and i'm so thankful for this journey it has definitely brought me so much peace of mind when it comes to my hair and the confidence that it has um given me i definitely think that if you are considering locking your hair definitely stop waiting procrastinating and just go ahead and do it because this journey is so far beyond just locks it's definitely a journey of self-love and it gives you the opportunity to focus on other things that are more important than just your hair so i'm so glad now that i permanently have a hairstyle in my hair and consistently a hairstyle that looks good and my hair is healthy and flourishing is growing like a plant I'm just so thankful that I finally decided to lock my hair. Um, if you guys have any video recommendations for me that you guys would like for me to make, um, I would definitely like to do that for you guys. And pretty much this is the end of the video. I'll pop in some clips here and there throughout this video um, of my one year <laughs> journey. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it to this part of the video, you are officially a sunflower and I love you so much. Drop a sunflower down in the comment section down below if you made it to this part of the video because you know y'all are my sunflowers. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.